Hey everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. In this video, I will be explaining that how to fix a driver cannot load on this device error popping up while starting your Windows 11 or Windows 10 machine. The main cause of this error is because of any outdated or corrupted driver. So in order to fix it, you have to update that driver. But how you will find out that which exactly driver is causing the problem? I would recommend that you can go with a free driver software updater. I will be leaving the link in the description and I have also created a video you can check that how to download and install it and once installed you will be coming to this driver booster here you can click on scan so this will start scanning all your drivers and whichever driver need update it will let you know okay now you can see it says hooray all drivers are up to date in free edition two drivers have been updated by driver booster so there were two drivers that were outdated and it has now been updated so you don't have to manually look. Your work has been now completed. So once it's been done you can close it, restart your PC and check back that if this fix a problem. And still if you have the issue then you can also try updating your windows because that will be also updating all kind of required drivers and everything on your windows 11 or windows 10 machine. On your search box of windows 11 or windows 10 click on it and type updates from the suggestion choose check for updates now here you can go and click check for updates and one meanwhile it's uh, checking for the updates below that you will find an option advanced option click on it then here you'll find optional updates now you can look for any kind of uh, update related to drivers if you find it then check the box and then click on download and install okay once it's been done you can go back and check that if your windows is updating or not once the windows update is completely done you can restart your pc and check back again and i'm pretty sure that this will be fixing the problem and still if you have the issue then close everything now make a right click on your windows icon then choose settings from the left hand menu option click on privacy and security and here click on windows security on the top then look for device security here and here you will find core isolation below core isolation you will find core isolation details click on it and here you will see the memory integrity is off your device may be uh, vulnerable so what you have to do this might be enabled on your end like it should be in a blue color the toggle should be in a blue color you have to switch it off you need to turn it off and once it's been done it probably it will ask you to restart your pc you can restart and check back i'm pretty sure now that you will be having the solution with you the error will not be coming again and if any of the solution work for you make sure that you hit the like subscribe to the channel and still if you have the issues let me know in the comment section i will reply you back i will try to help you out i see you in the next video then bye bye